Hello, this is MakerJ101, and today we're going to be making some green sand for casting. So this is good for casting aluminum or whatever you want to cast. I think you can also cast... I don't know if it's good enough for steel, but, I mean, this is basically... It's green sand. This stuff isn't the best quality, but it does work. Um, I have tried it a little bit, and it works pretty good. Um, I think the water content of this isn't very good, because this has just been sitting in this bucket for a couple of weeks. But it does work. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too... Yeah, it's pretty good. But it, you get the idea. It breaks pretty cleanly. Yeah, I think this is a little bit dry. But, um, but yeah, so the basic ingredients of it are kitty litter and sand. So that's all you need. Just um, bentonite clay is what you need. Um, it says right here. Uh, what? Yeah, it says natural clay on this one, but it is bentonite clay. And I will show you how to verify that. All right, so now we're going to figure out whether we have bentonite clay or not in the kitty litter. Here I have two different kitty litters. One of them is bentonite, one is not. And I will show you how to test for that. It's a really simple test. All you got to do is just add water. So um, we'll add water to here, and you'll see the effect. And we'll add water to this one. And which do you think is bentonite clay? Look at that. This is your bentonite clay. See how it all clumps together? All clumps together and the water pretty much get just... It'll sit like that for weeks and it will never actually wet the bottom down here. Just because it all expands up here and it basically makes it so that the water can't get past. It makes like a stopper there. This is not bentonite clay. This is just... Either it's... Yeah, I think it has a little bit of bentonite clay in it, but it's not enough. It's mostly gravel, so gravel and baked clay and yeah it's not not good stuff so this is the stuff you want you want it to um, stop the water from soaking down into it so once you get your bentonite clay um, often kitty litter will also have gravel mixed in with it so this stuff has gravel in it so what I need to do is actually sort that out so what I've got over here is a ball mill and it's basically really simple this is like the simplest ball mill you can make it's a paint can with a stroller wheel glued on it, and then there I have a metal uh, broken drill bit drilled in the end or glued in the end with of the stroller wheel with some hot glue, and it's chucked up in this old drill, and I've got that hooked up to a power supply. That is your simple ball mill, very simple, and you can basically throw anything in there to grind it up real well. Um, I'm using um, steel ball bearings and nails, so here I'll pull pull them out in a second. All right, so let's open up the ball mill and uh, sort the, I've uh, got a nice sieve here to get all the rocks and stuff out so that we just get the nice fine powder that we want. So, dump that out. You can see some of it's ground up. The other problem is it also sort of clumps together and all over coats everything in the dust or in the kitty litter. So. I actually didn't leave this running very long, so there's not going to be that much. You can see the nails in there. I put the nails in there because the fine powder, once it got all ground up, would just stick to the sides, and it was just getting a really thick coating in there. So I was like, okay, I need something to kind of grind it off of there. So I threw these nails in, and they seem to work, actually, to keep it off the sides. But it does work. I'm sure you could also buy pre-made... Um, bentonite clay that's already powdered. I don't know where you buy it though. Probably order it online. Or you could just um, buy pre-made green sand. But so I don't know. This is the cheapest method you could go with, probably. So that looks pretty good. So then I'll throw this back in the uh, ball mill and grind it for a little while more. But for now, this is what we're going to use. So I've already got a can here started of some. So add that to it. Throw it back in a ball mill and let it grind some more. And I've already got a can here, so now let's add that to our sand and moisten it. Alright, so in, as usual in most of my videos, I don't really have anything down to a science. I just kind of add stuff and see if it works. So here's my dried sand and filtered. I ran it through the same sieve. It's sandbox sand. Works real good. So I'll just pour some of that out. Probably a lot more than that, actually. And then I just kind of add the other components until it seems pretty good. So. I'll add some of that, and uh, I've tried recipes on the internet, but I couldn't get any of them to really work that well. So, and we'll mix it together a bit, and then we'll add some water. 
And if it doesn't seem right, I'll add more stuff and see if I can get it to work. Spray bottle works real nice to add the water because it kind of spreads the water out. So then what I do is separate the two pile separate it into two piles, and then actually probably it's more like three piles because I don't really so now what I'm gonna do is add more clay to this one to see if I can get the consistency I want. So I'm just looking for a certain consistency where it kind of sticks together. We'll see if we can get that achieved here. That's much better. All right, so we don't have enough clay then. All right, so let's add more clay to all this. That's probably enough for starters. And I don't really know the ratios at all. I'm just experimenting here. That actually feels pretty good. Breaks pretty cleanly. So I wonder if in that big bucket I don't have quite enough clay. Because this is better than the stuff I have in the bucket. Let's see what happens if we add more water. So I'll add more water to this batch over here and see if we can make it a little bit better. It's just something you have to experiment with. That's why I'm not giving any ratios because I don't really even know. Oh, that's even better. All right, so we need more water. Let's add more water to all this. Oh yeah, that's real nice. It's not sticky, breaks cleanly, it's fairly strong. Yeah, that's, that's nice. I like that. All right, so let's add that to the big bucket now, and uh, we'll go from there. both up. See if we can separate them. Yep. Not too bad. Granted it's not the best stuff in the world, but it's pretty strong. Let's see how strong it is. Yeah, I mean it's not too bad. I mean look at that, I have a big hole in the middle and it's still staying in the frame. So it's not too bad. Yeah, it's decent. Not the best stuff in the world, but hey, it's homemade. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I have enough. Yay! I can do some good castings now. <laughs>